some of the other interesting experience in terms of financial media. 2008 when Qatar was buying a stake in Barclays. In June 2008, I was in BBC, the live interview, Jimmy Robinson was asking me whether it is a political decision or a commercial decision. I have to tell him very clearly, the investigation is a structured solution Qatar was engaged in. Multiple sector, multiple investments in multiple countries were sought after purely to diversify the sovereign funds. So that was a very interesting interview and uh, on live I was put to test. Similarly, 2010 New York Stock Exchange was an example. 2009 before that, in when Dubai was in, uh, facing the real estate issues, November 2009 I was in BBC and that interview was so uh, special because I was trying to tell very clearly what is the total quantum of uh, Dubai debt and why the financial media including some of the newspapers were exaggerating because the UAE as a country had enough uh, sovereign capacity to subsidize Dubai. I was trying to articulate and uh, the image was put very negative for the Arab world and the Gulf especially and I had to tell the fact as it is to showcase that this is not exceptional. We UAE will come out, Qatar, Dubai will come out of it with the support of Abu Dhabi. And 2010 was, I was able to predict the World Cup is all live. Uh, New York Stock Exchange and I said Qatar will be the honest bidder and they will win. And it was not endorsed easily by Maria Bartroma once again, but she called me again on 2010 December when Qatar won the World Cup to congratulate me and the tacit test was also subsequently when Qatar a story was triggered by multiple false allegations and I, when the camera was on in 2011 and this question came whether Qatar was engaged in any governance issue and I had to clearly say it was all a premeditated plan to sabotage the image of the brand Qatar. So that was an experience. Similarly, 2017, when the blockade took place, nobody was prepared to pronounce their uh, commentaries. And I was in all over, including CNBC and Bloomberg. Bloomberg, my special interview in, in, in Singapore was, was a great uh, test for my uh, true and fair view. And it was sarcastic from the anchor angle, but I was prolific in ensuring Qatar's uh, GDP versus reserves cannot create any financial stability issue or solvency issue. But it was political, but I was professional in, in pursuit of my interpretation and uh, commitment of the practice which I am engaged in.